guys, I'm Chef Rich. I cook for the Rich and the Famous, and I'm here to make you a better chef. And today, we're going to talk about emulsifying a salad dressing. It sounds a little bit spooky, but it's really quite easy. This way, it'll be nice and creamy and stay that way when it gets onto your salad and onto your leaves and all that. So what, let's take a look what we got here. We have uh, salt and pepper always. We have some fresh thyme, lemon juice, shallots that I chopped already for us, mustard, and this is what thyme looks like. Nice fresh thyme is always the best. Far better than dried stuff. And um, yeah, a lot more flavor and probably a lot more nutrition since it's fresh. And here's a shallot. This is what it looks like. It's a small, mild onion. Imparts great flavor to food. Not too strong like a regular onion, not like garlic. It'll be perfect in the salad dressing. And this is a go-to salad dressing for anything. Uh, you can put a little bit of this on fish, it's delicious. Make it up ahead of time, keep it in your refrigerator, last for weeks. I mean, basically it's a marinade too. You can put it on your chicken, so it'll, it'll stick around for a while. Okay, so let's get started. Um, salt and pepper. You know how much you're putting in each time. If you practice using your fingers like this, you can feel exactly what's going on there. Go with that a little bit at the end. Fresh ground pepper. Makes a lot different than tree ground. It has a much more stronger, intense flavor. You always want to use fresh ground if you can. For that, we got our lemon juice. This is a little bit too much shallots here, so we're just going to use half of that. You know, your food is about playing. It's about, you know, okay, maybe I, maybe I don't need that much this time, you know? Uh, so we'll use our shallots for something else, you know? Uh, Put it into some sort of a dish later on, I hope. And once again, this is, um, you know, eyeball it. We're not, we're not measuring here. Now, normally salad dressings are like three to one. So it's one part of vinegar to three parts of oil. But you don't always have to go to that way. If this is probably going to get creamy before you put that much oil. So you end up with more vinegar, which can be healthier. And uh, some people like things that are a little bit tart. So here we are, we have the basic ingredients here, except for the uh, uh, olive oil, and that's going to go in next. Now you always drizzle it in slow, especially in the beginning. So once those large little granules disappear, a little bit more, and then we can just slowly add it. And as we slowly add it, you'll see that it's going to get creamier and creamier. Um, how long is this taking? I mean, we're talking a matter of minutes. You can see how it's emulsified, how it's come together in a creamy form that will cling to your lettuce leaves or whatever else you want to put it on. Well, there it is. That's my favorite salad dressing. And for more tips and tricks on how to be a better chef, check me out on my website or visit me on Facebook. I'm Chef Richie, and thanks for watching.